I'll put the Pokemon news in the mailbox. You should read it later on. Just hand it to me. Yeah, you know, right? <laughs> right here. Uh, well, like, I'll just put this back so you can get it out again. That's the spirit. Let's do our best. No, let's 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 give it half effort. Let's go in there and do. Do you know what I want from you guys? Fifty percent. A strong fifty percent is what I need from you today, my guys. Beautiful people, and welcome back to this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team! My name is Uncle Fate, and if you missed the last episode, that's probably because you're either not subscribed or you yet to ring the notification bell over my friend Baker's channel, because every other episode is uploaded over there. Today! What are we doing, Baker? That, sorry, wait a minute, that came way too smoothly out your lips. An intro from me, I'll get, I'll get as far as Kapow, what's up my baby bulbers, and then the rest is just a Kapow, blah, 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 Pokemon! <laughs> That one came way too smoothly out of your lips. Kapow, what's up, my baby Bulbasaur? My name is Big Up Bulbasaur. Years of practice, my friend. Years of practice. Right, I've just realised something. I can do it on stage. This is the thing, I'm an actor. I'm used to, I've delivered the, like, pages long Hang on, we need, we need to do monologue. it again. We need to do it again. Do we actually? Yeah, no, I've, I, I, I uh, don't want to do that. I need, I need to share a different screen with you real quick. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. My name is Uncle Fidget, and if you missed the last episode, that's probably because you'd rather not subscribe yet to ring the notification bell over my friend Baker's channel, because every other episode is uploaded over there. Today, what are we doing, Baker? We are playing Red Mystery Dungeon, and I'm a Squirtle, and you're a Pikachu, and I wonder if we will ever meet the Caterpie again, because quite frankly, I hope we don't, because I don't think my voice can take it, Uncle Vidya, I really don't. I hope that's a <laughs> once per ten episodes gig, but we'll see what we, we've kind of locked ourselves in as well. We really have, but there we go. The worst I'm thing excited. is, I'm not, I'm not going to hear that until the episode actually goes live, because as I said, Discord just went, no, that's peaking, nobody needs to hear any of that. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think you actually I thought you were just saying like imagine if but there you go No I genuinely you know couldn't hear you Well aud aud audacity would have heard it trust me Alright let's get back into this Tristan the Squirtle off you go Oof I'm feeling refreshed I still don't like a Pokemon but uh, uh that's alright that, that, that Pokemon uh, I think it was a uh, Pikachu we made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Pikachu is doing. I should go out. And out we shall go. And Forward, out Uncle we shall go. Onwards! Now, let's see if you... Huh? Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. I was so excited. I came here out here at dawn to wait for you. I must have snoozed off. <laughs> anyway... Today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. Da 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 da. But uh, anyway, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> oh no! I thought he said last episode there were loads of stuff to do. Like, oh we've been yeah. Here. Uh, maybe there's something in the mailbox. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> oh, there's a rescue team star set. Star set. I knew it'd be there. It's the rescue team starter set. They always give you one if you start a rescue team. Is this like a common thing? I thought it was just something we'd made up that we wanted to do. Apparently nope. it was jumping on the bandwagon. We get a badge and a toolbox Related and some to news. Wow, wow. I need the news. I need the Yes! There are some good things here. First off, the rescue team badge. It shows that we're a rescue team. This is a toolbox. You use it for carrying items you find in dungeons. Let's put the stuff Butterfree gave us in here for now. Items are very useful, so let's use them on our adventures. And finally, a copy of the Pokemon News. It's useful for rescue teams. I'll put the Pokemon News in the mailbox. You should read it later on. Just, just hand it to me. Yeah, just, you know, right? <laughs> right here. Uh, well, like, I'll just put this back so you can get it out again. <laughs> Anything else? Is there any other mail? Maybe not. Nope, it was empty. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. You just pulled lo 
loads out. What do you mean there wasn't any mail? If there were any rescue jobs, we would begin mail. But uh, nobody knows us since we're new. And we're a new team, I guess. <laughs> Awkward laugh. Flap flap. <laughs> oh, go on. You you get to be the Pelipper. <laughs> oh, I hate these Pokemon. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Oh, it's alright, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> just farts. <laughs> <laughs> just just poops and leaves. Like like most normal birds. Cool. There you go. It's a realistic game, that's the problem, right? Let's see if you can make head nor tails of these buttons. Go on. Maybe it's a rescue job offer. What does it say? Is it, you're reading bzz, the letter. Bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnet wave flowed through a dungeon and it stuck together. Magnemite and Magnemite and Magnemite and Ma <laughs> That isn't enough to form a magneton. It's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. From Magnemite's friend. I wonder if Magnemite's friend is a Magnemite. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Do you think we should go? <laughs> let's... <laughs> yes, let's go. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's do our best. No, let's ha let's ha let's give it half effort. Let's go in there and do. Do you know what I want from you guys? Fifty percent. A strong fifty percent is what I need from you today, my guys. Thank you for adjusting your phrasing there. <laughs> I appreciate you're you. You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> uh, you are... Uh, I don't know if this is the same person that said as the letter, but... It doesn't you, matter. They all sound the same. You are here. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Shout out to Sky. It's one of his favorite Pokemon. <laughs> My friends are in this cavern. Bzz, bzz, bzz. My friend should be on B6F. Please help them. Bzz, 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 bzz. Yo, these are civilized Pokemon. They have a, like a mapsual structure to their building. <laughs> <laughs> we got six floors to make our way through. Wow. All right, defeat the foe is pressing A. I don't think it will always be a matter of like, we'll whop out a dungeon in an episode. I reckon some some dungeons are going to be like multi-episodes. Oh, more than likely. Extravaganzas. Oh, and it's attack the Rattata. It's the way I rap. Oh, God. It ran away from me. Come back here. I commands it. Right, so, ooh, that's the start button. Ooh, that's the select button. Okay. Ah, that's the B button. Right, mm -hmm. moves. Okay, so we want you to use that. Switch. So I'm guessing you can only active what, like, you can ready one move at a time. I have no idea. Oh, right, no, well, you're just deselecting the stars for all of them. Oh, I am, aren't I? Yeah. Maybe that's telling them don't use these moves. Or, how, or potentially use these moves the way you would in an RPG. <sighs> Weird. Switch between them, yeah, I guess. Remember, guys, at home, like, the last episode was my first time playing this. This is literally fidgets. We've been recording yeah. 10 minutes. Like, that's how, lot, like, you know, we're, we're still learning this as we go. And I imagine, like, a lot of the people that might be watching might be people that have, like, themselves have been, like, oh, I've never played Mystery Dungeon, but since these guys are playing it, we'll, 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 we'll give a little watch, have a little listen. And I, th I, th I think we're fine. I think, I think we just go. I think we just right, move I, on. I, th I, th I mean, I just went with it. I just went with it. You will learn as we go. That's the theory. I mean, you know the joys of just watching a game. I'm like, it's like I'm at the cinema. I can sit here and eat sweets. <laughs> I'm showing off these sweets to Uncle Fidget. I bought 500 Gs of uh, bubble gum fizzy cola bottles. Just, just because I was sad, really. <laughs> Eating an apple or a gummy will fill your belly, as Baker has just learned. Eating gummies fill your belly. I feel attacked. Oh, basket stats return to normal. Okay. I feel attacked. Oh, right, well, we're getting attacked by Rattatas and it's a is that? And an it's, it's a Poochie Adam. It's a Poochie. It's a Poochie. It's a Poochie. Poochie Poochie. I don't even know the full list of what mons are in this. I, think, I, I, I mean, it's clearly up to Gen 3. I don't think it goes any further than that, this one. Yay, we learned Bubble. Okay, cool. Nice, we got that stab. I don't think it works like that, but... <laughs> I, I, I have no idea how it works. Can I... Use. Is that the only way to use it, though? By select, You have to go into the menu and select it like that. I hope not. Because that would be kind of booty. Oh, shift moves. Okay, so I can press... I thought you were about to say the wrong thing as well. 
Oh, shift! <laughs> no, it should... Aha! There you go. So, hopefully, I can... Nope. Nope. <laughs> Is that like a Pokemon Center, that tile? I hope so. No, it's not, because we didn't heal. Oh, you heal over time, though, don't you? You just heal by wandering around. Turns out Fidget's still on, still on a trap. <laughs> Release it's the hounds. Traps! <laughs> Release the hounds. It's trap card. I love that distance foes set them to use them. Okay, so you can press L and R to throw items at Pokemon. What is this? The Safari Zone? <laughs> throw bait. Bait, bait, ball. Bait, bait, ball? Bait, bait, Man, ball. you're just better off. You're better off just throwing balls. In my bait, experience. Bait, bait, ball. Bait, bait, ball. Come on, Poochiana. Up here, please. Come, Come on, Pooch. Come on, Pooch. Uh, Come on, boy. No. Come on. Come on. Who's a good boy? Who's is it you? Is it you? Who's a good boy? I mean, who's a good Poochiana? <laughs> Poochiana, worst dog. Not gonna lie. You think? Yeah. It's not my favorite. I mean, yeah, I'd probably agree just from process of elimination of, like, I don't hate Poochiana, though. I don't think it's bad design. I just think no. others are better. Come here! Stupid doggo running away from me. I want to fight you! They do not like you as much as you've made out, Uncle Fidget. Oh, you my God! <laughs> All right, it keeps running away from me. this dog. Maybe that's just his gimmick. It will just run, and you have to, like, trap it. Because I imagine as the game picks up, the combat's going to become a lot more. You're going to have to think about what you're doing a lot more in terms of your positioning and trapping them and stuff well, like that. Well, this is it. So, for instance, if we fought a Pokemon here, it could only be Squirtle who can fight. Yeah, that's what I mean. Whereas we pinned somebody earlier and got it so Pikachu was on the left, and we were flanking them. Yeah. Flank. Flank! Wow, wow, we got Wimpy now. I think it's because I ran into his path. And then he runs away, because he's a coward! Cowardly dog! Go on, get after him, Pidgeot. Get after him! Oh, fight the Rattata! It's a Nidoran. That's what I meant. <laughs> I know my Pokemon. I, I'm actually kind of lost in this dungeon as well, I'm not going to lie. Uh, down left? You haven't been that way. Nope. I think you're right. You're Go right! Left. Go left! Ha, 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 ha. Well, there's a sign that you haven't been here. Is it a Thunderstone? Because you would have picked up these fit. Yo, we can evolve Pikachu. Blast Seed flames the foe you are facing. Turn to face the foe. Oh. What you get we signed up for here? I don't know. Apparently, we're getting into flame wars with Pokemon. There we go. Have we got hey. Burnil? You better have Burnil! Ha 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 ha! That was the first Pokemon burn. It really was. Proceed. We wish to proceed. I wish to continue. Choose a partner Ooh. with the team command and set its tactics and IQ skills. Cooperation with partners is the key. Yo, I'm going to set Fidget's IQs. BRB, BRB. <laughs> Moves. Uh, put Thunder Wave there. Select a switch set moves. So you can oh. hotkey them. I don't know. <laughs> see what I guess, so I see, you see what I mean when I, though it's not as straightforward as you as what as one would think. I, I look at my IQ skills. I'm a dedicated traveler, or am I? Exclusive move user. I have no idea what any of these do. Info. The Pokemon will only use moves. It will not oh, use its regular. Oh, so you're giving the AI its restrictions in what you can do. Like, you, you, I'm sure you've played RPGs where this is a thing where you can set the AI to only do specific things. All right, all right. I've just clocked. Right, so this makes sense. So, exclusive move user. The Pokemon will only use moves. Yeah, it will yeah. not use its regular attack. So that little headbutt thing we're doing is just a basic attack. Yes, that we much have I'm, that much. I've got. Yeah, That's we like have tackle. to go in. We have to go into the menu to actually use our. Moves. That was the bit I was hoping wasn't the case. I was hoping there'd be a way of mapping it, but... Pokemon will use a throw hold items. No, I don't... Oh, yeah, maybe. Dedicate travel. Pokemon will focus on traveling. It will use moves and items less often. Uh, no. No. Oh, we're still... We're still doing this. Course checker. If the Pokemon has a foe targeted for a move or a thrown item, it will check first for walls and other Pokemon that may get in the way. It will stop it. Well, that... Yes. Wait, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pokemon the Pokemon can... Hold, hold a thrown item. It can't make a catch if it is already holding an item. It also can't catch seeds and drink items. Okay. Uh, let's go check IQ. So, item catcher, yes. Course checker, yes. 
Do we want Pikachu to just use moves, or do we... <sighs> I'd say keep it as it is for the time being, and keep as it, it learns as it more is. moves, and we'll probably gain a new partner at the end of this dungeon as well. Not that I think we're going to get to the end of the dungeon this episode, but nonetheless. I did stick with that, though. and if it doesn't work, you can always change it up again. Is it going to be about experimenting with it? Yeah. Ooh, tactics. What, is, what tactics do we have? Oh, tactics. Let's go together, go after foes, avoid the first hit. Let's stick with let's go together first. By oh, avoid being it. If a foe comes close, the Pokemon will attack. The Pokemon will head straight towards any foe. It's okay. Try to stay with the lead. Let's go together for the time being. Yeah. But th there you go. Ooh. There, there will come a point where that will be the best thing we change that. Apparently, there's a run button. Are you sure you're not just pressing speed up? Nope. Because I made that mistake. <laughs> nope. B allows me to... It's an apple. Go oh, fast, apple. apparently. I want an apple. Jump, jump. Yep, that is definitely a run button. But it's got stamina, I, I'm guessing. No idea. These pooches. Go on. Go on, Squirtle. Go on, fight! Smack him! Smack him. Look at Pikachu just cheering. Just like, yeah, yeah, go. You did it. Proud of you. Proud right. of you, mate. Yeah, that way. I'm, I'm trying to. It wasn't letting oh. me. Yeah, let's see. It's every now and again, it just stops letting you input. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, it's an old game as well at the end of the day, guys. You know, like, which is fine. Like, we, we, we obviously, there are more updated versions of this. We, we, we're playing this one. Like, it's our first iteration of it. But it's probably going to be a bit dated and be a bit, like, in terms, especially in terms of us oh, yeah. doing the controls and stuff. But still, nonetheless, like, it's been a lot of fun. And we'll get, we'll get used to it as we go. Oh, I'm enjoying it. I'm certainly enjoying it. Ah, see now. Be chase doesn't. him. I'm trying to chase him. Yo. But he will only stay still. And B doesn't just speed me up, apparently. It speeds everybody else up. And then makes him go like, Oh, what's going on? I wonder. Yeah, yeah, yes. Use and tell with Pikachu. Yes. Yes, Pikachu. Experience points. That's I'd... the way uh, uh. Do you think we're slow because we're a squirrel? Uh, your theory being that other Pokemon would have a standard faster movement. I don't know. Have you been just, down those just, stairs? Is that the way no, you came No, no, we need to we need to go down those stairs. I think. Well, yeah, I think you've but, been around the whole area. Yeah. Uh no, there's a section up in the top right we've missed. Oh yeah, I see it. Also, we want money, some money. money, 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 money. It's, it's so, so funny, funny in a rich man's world. Yeah. I was looking at a script for Abba with my students the other day as well. Oh, I. Oh, I. I'm having another sweet. It's not it. particularly my favourite musical, but you don't always get to teach the stuff that you love. You've got to teach one No. That's that's fair. That's fair. I, I'm, I'm still happy you finally got to experience... Um... Oh, there's nothing down here. Okay. I'm just glad you finally got to experience... Uh... God, what was it? What was it? What, 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 what were we talking about? Legally Blonde! You finally watched Legally Blonde. Not all of it, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of, like, to be fair, like, I've only... I didn't sit down and watch the whole film. I, like, watched the main scenes and pieced it together. But then I, to be fair, like, I watched more of the stage version of it because the script and the stage version is slightly different and that's what I was teaching, so... Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, I am more familiar with Legally Blonde now. It's all right. It's all right. It's not... It's not... It's not my thing. No, it does it's say right. hold B and then go in a direction. Hold R, then press... To move that only. Oh. Intriguing. Okay. But it doesn't... We're, we're playing chess, basically. A little bit. And the queen! Don't y'all forget queen. it. Yas, queen. Yas, queen. A cherry berry. Right. We can either explore or we can go straight down the stairs. Uh, I think I mean, exploration we, is probably key, isn't it? I mean, it's probably wise to do at least some exploring on every floor because, again, we want the EXP from killing things. Plus, there's going to be some items we want. Uh, Ooh, Voltorb. Oh, Voltorb. 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 Yeah. Uses explosion. Shout out to Captain Mod. <laughs> Shout out to Captain Mod. Uses explosion. 
I can't stop eating these sweets, man. They, like, once, once you start, it's one of the, what's your most Moorish food? Like, what, what is it that once you start eating, you just cannot stop? Um, kebabs. What? <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> really? No, <laughs> I'm really bad with kebabs at the moment. You I like them lie. that much? I'm, I'm, no, they're awful. I hate them. They taste horrid. But I just never seem to stop eating them. Can't stop eating. <laughs> the only time I can eat a kebab, like don't get me wrong, I love a dirty cheeseburger. Getting I'll, hungry. I'll oh, oh, we got an empty belly. I think we can eat from the menu. I'm surprised that isn't being tracked on the screen. Maybe it's being oh. tracked in here somewhere. Let's eat an apple. Oh, there you go. Belly was filled. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to see that. Maybe that's the only way it tells you. Like it comes up as a, as a text cue. We'll find out once again. And this running must be on a stamina thing because you can't just keep doing it, can you? Um. So it seems to be the case that we can run to the end. Oh, there's a, there's another way we haven't gone yet. We can run to the end of a place. So, for instance. Yeah, I can chase him down here. Oh, whatever, Pikachu, you suck. We can get to there, and then it stops us. We can get there, and then it stops us. Does that make sense? It gets us to, like, the end of that row. But you can then st still keep using it. That's fine. That's okay, then. Yeah, I don't... I don't... Oh. Yeah. Little jumper to skip there from my boys. <laughs> uh, where... There isn't a reset... Oh, there is a reset platform. I've chased this Puchiana the wrong way anyway. <laughs> didn't want to come up here. Does not want to be your friend. Okay, now it does. Okay, no, it's, okay. Oh. It's literally baiting you. It's it teasing is. you, Pidgey. This hound hour is teasing you. Ow! Ow! 16 damage from that Ratata. Don't That's appreciate it. That's a crit. What? That, it was that a crit. On hyper fang. Oh, we're going to get mugged. We're going to get oh. mugged. Fight it, Pikachu. You're getting mugged. You got it cornered. Uh, can I, can I, can I heal? Can I use my items to heal, please? Orange berry, eat it. Haha. -ha. There you go. Wow, there that did go. a lot of healing. I feel like it definitely shouldn't have done that much. What do you mean uh, it definitely shouldn't have done that much? Uh, it just, it just did a lot of healing. But I imagine as the game goes on, like, it will only ever replenish that much, but your health bar will get bigger and you'll be taking more hits of damage. Like, it makes more sense to me that at the, right at the beginning of the game, it heals you a lot. Oh, yeah. I imagine over time, it will become less significant, the amount of healing. Yeah, we have, we're, 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 still, we're only young explorers, Uncle Fidget. We have only just got dive down this journey. We're only itty bit explorers. we babies! We babies. Ah, this is what I was after. Haha, -ha, my a stats have returned some... A wonder tile. Pikachu, can you step on here, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate you, Pikachu. Uh, please leave, come on, please. Step on this tile. Please come on, step on this tile. Never need a reason, never need a rhyme. Please come on and step on this tile. Nice. 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 That's what I am directing with my stagecoach students. One of one of my groups um, next to Mary Poppins. I can't wait. Oh mate, I can't that's wait. amazing. I'm buzzing with uh, my stage twos. So that's my um, like ten to thirteen year olds. I bet you make a great Dick Van Dyke. I'd I know that's not know. his. I know that's not his character's name, but <laughs> you'd make no, not the character. You would just have been good at playing Dick Van <laughs> at being Dick Van Dyke. You know, Mary Poppins, Ben Dobbs. Beds and Brooms? No, he's not Beds. Yeah, he is in Beds and Brooms Six. Is he? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's really young in it though. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, it's been forever since I've watched Beds and Brooms Six. Oh, that's a great film, Beds and Brooms. I'll tell you what, we should start doing for every time we record Uncle Fidget. Whoever's episode it is, will come with a with a question of the day, but like for each other. And chat can do it as well, as obviously. But we'll come into every recording session with a with a, with some sort of like general question for the other. Oh, our belly is forty of one hundred. So we have to come into the uh, we have to come into the menu to see how hungry we are. Right. Okay. Cool. But yeah, yeah. love me some bed, love some broomsticks. But um, but yeah, what uh, classic Disney stuff. But yeah, Mary Poppins would be great. I'd love to play Dick Van um, to play Dick Van Dyke to play Bert in Mary Poppins. But you need to be able to do a backflip. And I, you. I used to be able to do backflips, uh, and then I landed on my neck once, and I've never <sighs> been able to do it since. 
Yeah, no, there's uh, it's when psycholog- I used to, it's psychological. It's fear. when I when I used to do parkour and things like yeah. that, it was very much a case of oh god, I'm thunderwaved. Pikachu, fight it. <laughs> Pik- Pikachu, I said fight it. You had one job. You had one job, man. Yes, I leveled up. Yeah, 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 it's stealing all my experience. Yeah, back when I used to do parkour, um, oh god, um, doing uh, backflips and things was probably the thing I struggled with the most. Mm-hmm. And what we used to do is we'd go into the gym because at my school, we we basically had these bars outside that we were doing flips and stuff over. And they were like, you can't do that anymore. That's not OK. And we're like, well, give us give us a place where it is OK for us to do it and we'll stop doing it. So so they let us use the gym over lunchtime. And we used to jump off this horse and it was basically a big, big platform. And then it was built on bars. And far too often, I try and backflip, not get enough distance, and basically land and come up and just smash my head into the bars. And yeah, just it was it was yeah. something I never quite got used to. I, I did get used to them, like because I like I, as a kid, I because I was so into wrestling, I was forever in the garden, like flipping around and trying out things with my body. And then when I started doing musical theatre and learned like doing dance and stuff. There came points where that like you would do tricks and stuff, so I was just yep. always practicing. So like I, I can front flip, I can still do that. I mean it's yep. it's been about a year, but last check I could front flip. Um, I can kick up from the floor like the way you would imagine Bruce Lee or wrestlers to do. I can well again last check I could still do off, that off your off your back. Yeah, yeah, off my yeah off from the floor. Yep. Um, yep. So I, I wasn't bad. Like I never actually took parkour or acrobatics. I just I was just self taught a few things. Um, but yeah, with backflips, I was able to do them. I landed on my neck once and just never been able to commit to doing it again. Uh, it's just the fear there, psychological thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty, it's there. Like that, I, it could be something that I could get over. But but yeah, that among other reasons is a problem why I, I unfortunately will not be burnt in the West End. But I would love to do so. But it's gonna be great fun to direct it with these kids. They're they're a good group as well. There, among my not my, among my more well behaved ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> The ones who are not annoying. The ones who you don't mind teaching. Because anybody who's a teacher knows that you've got the ones who you don't mind teaching and then the other ones. <laughs> yeah, but I would also add to that there are ones as well that fit into both categories. There are some that when they're in the right mood, they're a pleasure to teach. And when they're not, they're just... And they're the ones who are the most like us. Is that right, Baker? <laughs> Pretty much, to be to, to, to be honest. Yeah, I, wasn't, I was far from perfect at school. Nope. Unless I was in a lesson that I actually cared about and... You know, and I was never like disrespectful and like a disruption to like teacher or anything. I just, I didn't care about learning certain mm-hmm. things, and I was, and that, that the thing is, that at that age, I knew what I wanted to do. Yep, which made it worse because I was like, I know what I want to do. Just let me focus on what, what I'm doing. Want, all but... this maths is not helping the matters. <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah. became good at maths. In, I think we were talking about this in last call. I became good at maths just from playing because Yu-Gi-Oh. of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Just in, in spite of myself, like like anyone that played Yu-Gi-Oh or any like I suppose a lot of card games. Like, I don't know what Magic's like and stuff like that, but Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, there's a lot of quick maths that, you, mm-hmm. that you'll end up doing. Um, so inevitably, you, you you become good at that. And like it's an interesting conversation. Like I like people that are really into football randomly mm-hmm. get some general knowledge of geography. Like they can recognise flags and yep. all that sort of stuff. Like, and that's completely begrudged knowledge. Like, yeah, they, they it's, just, it's they, not intentionally learned. It's, it's yeah, just it's a side effect of, of what you're doing. You know, which is like, I, you know, we're going into a different level of conversation, but I think more teaching should be structured in that way these days. Tangential learning is the term. Uh, I've heard of that actually. I've heard of that term. So it, it's, it's it's the it's what. Oddly enough, it's what a lot of YouTubers use. So if you get it's a lot of the YouTubers, idea that you can play a video game and learn just as much from it as you could from studying from a textbook for two yep. hours. Because I tell you, there's some things about history that I only know because of playing Metal Gear Solid games or Assassin's again, Creed. <laughs> partly Assassin's Creed, but for me, a lot of it is MG. Again, a lot of it is sci-fi. But there are certain dates and events that are referenced that are true, so mm-hmm. like Cold War and stuff like that. So like that was the only reason I learned certain things to do with history was to do video games. Yep, no, that makes perfect sense. And that's the thing, and it is a case of just, like, you learn things, as you say, despite yourself. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there they are. Let's get them out safely. Well, that was anticlimactic. I thought that'd be a big trouble. Our bodies separated. Rejoice. Yay. Yay. 
Be thankful, you two. You are a hero. Thank you. Bzz, 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 bzz. Yay, we got 500 poker dollars for it. Yay. The team also received a Receiver revive. Seed. Reviver, Reviver seed. seed. Yeah, Reviver seed. And a roll, Sperry. Goodbye. Well, that was what a, what a fun adventure we went on this episode, <laughs> Uncle Vidya. We saved some Magnemites. No trouble. No trouble. Why didn't they just throw another Magnemite in there and then they could have been a Magnuson? It would have been fine. There you, there you go. They're not ready. They don't want to grow up. No, that's fair. I'm glad our rescue team, our rescue mission went well today. Actually, since there was our first job as a proper rescue team, I was really tense and nervous. I'm exhausted now. I've got to get some sleep. Let's keep our good work tomorrow. Keep up our good work tomorrow. I'll see ya. Bye. Mag Nif Eek. Would you like to save your adventure? I would! Because that's going to do it for today, guys! Thank you and very I much don't want to have to play through all that again. So yes, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna do it for today guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to join us again on the next one but until then baker do you have anything to say thank you for having me uncle vidya it's been a pleasure i cannot wait to the next session already catch you later be sure to subscribe like comment ring the bell do all the youtube things and i shall see you on the next episode